What's up guys, Baker here. Today I got a tutorial on an expression called smooth. It's a cool expression that smooths out keyframes and whatnot. And um, if you have not heard of it or never used expressions, this might be a good introduction tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I got this song right here and I right clicked converted the audio to keyframes which give, uh, gave me this audio amplitude layer. If I click on the slider, so if I go to my graph editor, we can see all the keyframes that make up the audio amplitude of the song. And I can uh, preview it really quick. So you can see it's loud here, it's quiet, it gets louder, and um, yeah. So normally what people do with the audio amplitude is make an adjustment layer that does some flashes. Um, on top of your footage or something. So I'm just going to use a white solid real quick to demonstrate this. Make comp size. I'm just going to link the opacity. So hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, and pick whip it to the slider. And just RAM preview, and you'll see it flashes, and um, it, uh, it's more white when it's loud, it's dark when it's quiet grows back up but thing here is it's very choppy and not very smooth at all so we're gonna smooth out this audio amplitude so let's go ahead and bring up the graph editor one more time so it's very it has um, high variability so we're gonna smooth that out hold alt click on the stopwatch and if you ever looked up smooth online most people will just say <coughs> to use smooth 2 comma 5 and they don't explain what that means or what that does. I click that. Uh, I'm going to show you what it does. So if we can click the show expression graph, you can kind of see um, the before and after. So after is just like really crazy and it's pretty much all the same value and that's not what we want. We want it to still mimic the actual values, just be kind of smooth, you know. So the 2 comma 5 means this. So the first parameter is how wide your sample space is. So what it's going to do is if I zoom here, zoom in on the graph, if I want to smooth out this point right here, um, I'm going to look one second to the right, one second to the left, and average five keyframes evenly spaced. So the two seconds is going to be pretty large because the song will change um, within two seconds. So we need to decrease the two to maybe like 0.5. This will make the uh, smooth expression follow your your original graph a little bit more closely. But you can see it's still pretty highly variable. Um, what we can do is the second parameter is just how many keyframes it's sampling. So maybe um, increase this to 11. Now the reason why I'm doing an odd number is because if you evenly space an odd number of uh, samples, the middle one will uh, take your actual value into account, which we would want. So it's getting a little bit smoother. Maybe we can bump this up to 19. And you can see it's really starting to get pretty smooth. Let me RAM preview this, and you can see what I mean. So the color of the solid is a lot smoother, still follows the amplitude of the song. So, Kitty, I'm trying to do a tutorial. Shh. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, you can smooth out audio amplitude like that, pretty choppy stuff. Another example I want to go over, turn this off and the um, solid off. I have this little red solid. And it's just jumping all around really fast and stuff, kind of choppy. I tried to make it. So you can see the path it takes right here. Pretty uh, choppy and crazy. Now let's say I want to smooth it out. So just alt-click on the stopwatch, type in smooth. Again, your uh, sample width does not need to be very large. So let's just do 0.5 again, comma. And then how many uh, keyframes do you want to sample from? Maybe 11. And we can see if I click on it again. There we go. That's what I needed. I need to click this. So you can see it's a lot smoother now. And um, Kitty! Shush! So very smooth and stuff. If we uh, increase 
the samples even higher you can see it gets even more smooth exponentially smooth and if you increase your sample width which you don't want to do you'll see that your result no longer resembles what your actual path used to be which is kinda what you don't want so smooth expression smooth out position keyframes um, you can do audio amplitude keyframes you can do tons of other things I just don't have uh, any more examples right now but just remember the first parameter is how wide your sample width is keep that pretty low about half a second and then the second parameter is how many keyframes you're sampling from try to keep it odd it's usually just a rule of thumb and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I hope you learned a little bit of something about uh, the smooth expression you can use it on a couple more things if you make anything feel free to make a video response or just post your video in the comments and stuff um, I might do some more expression tutorials soon I just need to know what kind of expressions you want me to go over I can't really talk about them in general but yeah anyways uh, sorry for the interruption kitty um, be sure to like and favorite the video comment if you have any questions or hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and I think that should be it alright peace